Hello everybody, Randy Stern here from Victory and Reseda, and I am in the driver's seat of a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Limited with the S Appearance Package, and I will break that down in just a moment. For 2021, Chrysler updated the uh, Pacifica minivan to give it a new front clip. Uh, it looks reminds me of a uh, Chrysler Town & Country of 20 years ago, where they had the big grill and the uh, wing badge right in the middle of it. Looks very sharp, very, very handsome. Uh, the They've redone uh, that for this uh, particular model year onto the Pacifica. The shape is a little bit different, but it still reminds me of those of those minivans of uh, two decades ago. Uh, new t new headlamps, new taillights out back, and but still the same shape as as the previous Pacifica. And along with a lot of the great uh, utility that this vehicle uh, comes with. So, and I will talk about the interior in just a moment. But I do want to mention the S appearance package. It is where your grill is black, your badging is black, even a wing badge up front. I also have a set of 20-inch alloy wheels in black. So it, it's a sportier uh, look for this minivan. And Chrysler's done a great job in making the S appearance package pop in every one of their Pacificas as equipped with it. Uh, the color on this car. Uh, when I posted the photo up on social media, everybody went ecstatic about it. It's called Ocean Blue, and it's a beautiful, beautiful hue of blue. Now, it is exclusive to the S Appearance Package, but I'll tell you what. If you're a customer and you want this color, ask for it. Even if you get the S Appearance Package, because it will be the most handsome minivan you'll ever see. It's really sporty and really cool. And I like it. So I like the look of it. Now, when you step inside, there's more S appearance uh, package pieces, such as these uh, seats, more sportier with uh, piping and some contrast stitching, the S badge. However, the big news inside the 2021 Chrysler Pacifica is Uconnect 5. This is the newest generation of what I consider one of the best infotainment systems out there it's a you get you see this in plenty of fiats plenty of uh, even maseratis but they call it something different and of course across uh uh dodge chrysler jeep and ram however this new version is a lot more customizable so it's uh, got widgets you can customize and formats of the screens of how you want to have it set up it's also got wireless uh apple carplay and android auto integration wireless charging uh, more connectivity uh, options with Alexa and some additional apps uh, that you could use to even pay for gas from inside the car. Uh, there's a lot, but everything else is familiar. I mean, rotary e-shift is here. All the great controls that you find on the Pacifica from previous uh, model years. I love the screen that's in the instrumentation, instrumentation binnacle. You also have... Because I have the regular Pentastar V6, uh, you have stow and go, which means that you could fold the second, third row, the floor is flat, you could bring home uh, your your next project in it. Uh, so, and without having to worry about flipping and folding seats and uh, that will be in the way. So you have a full, full floor, flat all the way to the first row. Um, underneath the hood, I've mentioned it already, the Pentastar V6. 3.6 liters, uh, very powerful engine. Um, it's really it's really one of the best engines that's out there. It's a really perfect match for this particular vehicle. You can still get the plug-in hybrid, and I've had tested those before. I mean, two last two Pacificas I had were hybrids, and they're, they're, it's a great uh, driveline. They did increase the uh, battery-only uh, range to about 32 miles this time around. So uh, you're seeing some improvements in the in the plug-in hybrid. However, for this particular vehicle, great response, smooth ride, uh, superb handling. Um, I love everything uh, of its driving dynamics for this particular vehicle. Uh, the other big news that is in this particular uh, tester is all-wheel drive. Chrysler has had all-wheel drive in the past. They brought it back for 2021 in the Pacifica. Um, so you have a, a rear diff 
um, better traction. Uh, the one thing I'm a little concerned about are tires. So obviously that's a debate. I get so both sides of the debate here. To be honest with you, uh, get winter tires if you live up here in, in this part of the country. Uh, good example is that I have a, a, a alleyway where I park off of and it's icy and slick. I wouldn't even walk on it, let alone attempt to drive on it. But it, with this, I mean, the traction is there. Uh, the tires are doing its best to keep grip. Works quite well. Uh, total price for this particular tester is over 55 grand. Yes, I know you're balking. However, I just want to give you a couple of uh, points of reference. Now, there is a new model for 2021 that's above this limited. Um, it is called the Pinnacle. Pinnacle's got a really luxed up interior, including a couple of throw pillows. Uh, just don't throw the pillows, okay? And that starts at over 53 with the uh, Pentastar. Strangely enough, if you go to the Chrysler uh, website, if you want to get the hybrid version of the Pinnacle, it's $3,000 less. I don't know. You ask me. So, uh, I can tell you right now that I there are two other minivans that are coming this year. So, am I going to say that this is the best minivan in the market? Right now, yes. But, the the, uh, the market is kind of shrinking. However, Chrysler is really doubling down on, on their minivan product. And especially when you now have the companies all merged into Stellantis. Now, that's another video I want to cover. And another video I want to talk about is the, the old debate that's been happening since 1983. Minivan or SUV? You tell me. All right. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. You know what to do on, on YouTube. If you're not watching this on YouTube, give it a like. I don't know. Give it a lug. <laughs> give it a lug. Give it a love. All right. Whatever. Anyway, have a great day. Thank you for watching.